guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the center, playing some Mark on our vanilla-type series. Vanilla-esque series. Um, and today, what I want to do is kind of show you something that uh, I was actually taught by Kevin. Now, I know you guys have seen in some of the videos and whatnot, who I'm in a tribe on the modded series with. Um, there's something he did that I think is really cool, and he kind of showed me how it all works and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about it, and that is custom consumables. How to make cake and drinks and stuff that give you lots of health and food and whatnot. And I'm just gonna go into the basics of it. Eventually, there may be a more advanced video out. This is kind of just the basics, because in my opinion, that's all you need to know. Um, you can get a lot more information on the wiki as well under the article of custom consumables. But this kind of shows you a bit how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the stuff needed uh, gathered up. If you guys do enjoy the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share if you have not done so already. And also make sure to ring that little notification bell. I haven't been getting notifications from a lot of my subscriptions, and uh, I bet you that's why. So ring that little notification bell and select you want to get all the notifications for the videos. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready and set up, and I'll show you how this thing works. All right, guys, so we have gathered all the materials we need to start making some custom consumables, and I'll kind of show you guys how it works a bit. So, what you do, first thing you gotta do is make a bunch of notes. And we already put a bunch in here. This is more we're just storing stuff. You need all sorts of berries and meat. Whatever you wanna make it out of. You can make it out of tons of things. I know some people are like making it out of dino eggs because you get more benefits from it. Um, but I find that to be more of a pain because now then I have to go gather a bunch of dino eggs to do it. Uh, and it has to be a specific kind of dino egg. And some people use cooked meat or raw prime. Personally, I think it works the most effective just using Regular berries, not the medjo berries, because those are used for taming dinos and in other things, but kibble and whatnot, but uh, amber berries, tinto berries, azul berries, all of those things you only use just for regular feeding, so you probably have a ton on hand, and then I get to use regular raw meat. So first we're gonna go ahead and make one of these, and we're gonna put the note in there, and uh, I'm gonna kinda show you what this will look like. So I'm gonna grab, let's say, how long do these spoil? Eight minutes, okay, perfect. 20 meat. And I'm gonna grab 20 of each of these berries. Well, that's too many. 20. 20. Let's put some back. And kind of show you what this looks like. So, first things first. Oh, we also need to get some water. Oh, dang it. I don't know if I have a water skin. We might have to make one real quick. Water skin. Ah, okay, water skin. So, four hide and 12 fiber. Hide, hide, hide. We should have lots. One, two, three, four. And some fiber should be over here. Okay, so you get the ingredients you want to put in there. And obviously, the... Where's my fiber? In here? I am not organized right now. Uh, so the more ingredients you put in, the more it's going to take to create what you want. So, and, and every ingredient you use is going to add weight and whatnot. And there is a chart on the wiki to let you see what all of that is. Okay, let's go fill up this water skin really quick. Can we do it right here? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so first we're gonna make a drink. So you throw in your water and the berries you want. We're gonna do 20 Tinto, 20 Azul, and, oh, that's too many. 20 Ammer Berries. And then you go to make recipe. Hold E on the cooking pot to make recipe. And, oh, make recipe. And now you can do drink and you can change the colors of it and everything. We're not gonna worry about that right now. We're just gonna leave it as it is. We're gonna call this Drink one, just for now. We're going to go ahead and make the recipe, and bam, and that's it. And it creates a recipe, and look, here it is. Now, when you hover over this, it's gonna tell you what it does. This particular recipe gives you 10 water, 4.75 stamina, um, and 4.75 health. Now, I've heard the stamina part of it doesn't work right now. Um, I haven't really bothered to verify that, since I'm not usually too worried about that anyways. So obviously, this drink sucks. And the, one of the reasons is because uh, you actually want better crafting speed. The higher your crafting speed is, the better recipes you're gonna make. And so there's two ways to do that. First, we're gonna use the Mind Wipe Tonic. Bam! Ugh, refund of our, all of our Ingrams. And we're gonna bump every single point we have in the crafting speed, uh, which will take a second here. And that will make our recipes just that much better. So then we're going to gather some more berries and kind of see the difference now with our crafting speed being as high as it's going to be, which is pretty dang high. Oops. So now our crafting speed is at 970. Now at 970, okay, let's just grab all these things, even though our weight's going to be super low. Oh, we can't. Okay, let's grab some of them. There we go. 
So now let's do the same thing. Let's put in a note. And let's put in 20 of each berry. And 20 more. Ooh. Oh, these are about to spoil. And do make recipe. And here it goes. And we'll make a drink. And we'll call this one drink two. So we can see the difference. And we'll go make recipe. Bam, drink two. Now let's look at this stats on this one. Uh, see, now this one is 112 water, 45 stamina, 45 health. Oh, how about that? And it's super low weight, which is really nice. Um, we'll actually make some of these as well. Now, of course, you can take it one step even further. First, let's go ahead and grab another note. And get it ready. And now there's still 20 in there. Because uh, we also can use a focal chili, which increases your crafting speed. So right now we're at 970. And then it, we have fo focal chili made. And we go make recipe. Make a drink. We'll call this one drink three. We'll make recipe. And it, so since it gives you the blueprint, let's look at that one. So that one does, it looks like uh, 14 more water, five more stamina, and uh, five more health. So not that much, but if you're going to try to make the best you can, that's the way to do it. Um, so now what I actually want to do, uh, see so these are going to spoil. Let's go ahead and throw one more of each in so we can just go ahead and let them spoil. So what am I going to spoil? 36 seconds. So let's grab another note because also there's some customizable options here. So you throw the note in and you go make recipe, drink. And first you can use between two different drink styles. Let's go with this one. And we will call this one the berry slushy. Slushy? Slushy? Slushy. And you can actually change the colors as well. So we can make it like have some red. We can have some yellow. Ugh, no. Red, blue, a blue cup. And then region three, we can make it do uh, yellow. Ugh, that's an ugly, ugly smoothie. Let's try it again. Obviously, region two should be red. Region one should be blue. And region three should be yellow. Pink, green, white, white. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and do berry slushy. This will be 20 of each berry. And now there's 20 of each one in there. And now we will make recipe. Bam. And now we have our fancy berry slushy here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these other ones I don't want, because this is the one we're gonna use. It gives us enough water to fill it completely up and some health, and that's awesome. But this is not limited just to drinks, because you can also make food. And I can't move, which is the best. Okay, let's do this. Let's drop all these in here, actually. We don't want any of that. Now, berries and stuff will give you food as well, as well as the, um, you know, cooked meat, dino eggs, I think rare mushrooms, like help with stamina and food and everything. Uh, but I, I think personally that raw meat is just gonna give you the most bang for your buck. And so do we still have our focal chili going? Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's grab, how long till this meat spoils? Two minutes, that's plenty of time. So we're gonna throw, take these out, throw in the meat, throw in the note, and do make recipe. And we're gonna do food, and we can make a sandwich. We can make a what, platter, a flatbread, I don't know what that is, or cake. And obviously we want some meat cake, but we're gonna call it meat pie, even though it's not. Okay, now you can do different colors. Um, let's go on the outside, I don't know. Inside, red, but like a darker red. No, be like a, Region three, like a nice darker red. That's like the the raw meat. <laughs> and region two, or let's do region one. We'll make it blue, that doesn't make any sense. Yellow, ooh, that's kind of some nasty meat. Orange, black, <laughs> as black as it can get. Uh, and two, we'll do, maybe put a little bit of frosting on our meat cake. And we'll we'll make it blue, yellow, green, red black and red cake and we will call this meat pie and it's 20 raw meat um and we'll go ahead and do food and we will make the recipe and let's go see what that can give us is, are, are we in battle somewhere what is going on over here you taking care of business yeah you get that dillo you get it kentrosaurus get him oh look he grabs him on his freaking tail and ah okay anyways he's taking care of that for us we don't gotta worry so let's look at the recipe that we made meat pie gives us 247 food, 17 salmon, 181 health. So now what you actually have to do is craft these things. So, uh, let's say we wanted to craft a bunch of the meat pies. Well, that's easy. You just simply take 
a bunch of meat. Where's all our meat? And you throw it in, cooking pot. With the recipe, you turn it on. Now this is obviously way better in the industrial cooker. Um, let's go ahead and let the, and there we go. We have meat pie. We have made our own special food, which is now, uh, weighs 0 0.5. So it's gonna be, you don't have to carry that many around. Uh, their spoilage time is pretty long. And now we can carry this around instead of regular meat and stuff. We make it ourselves, which is cool. And it also will heal us up. Now it does increase your health very slowly. Uh, not, not super fast. Um, so it's not something you wanna use in the middle of a battle necessarily. It can help, but it's not the most amazing. So we can just let that keep crafting forever until we have stacks and stacks of meat pie, throw it in a refrigerator, and then we are good to go. And we can do the same thing with the berries. Cause look, we can just take this. Now the downside of this is we do need uh, water for this, I believe. Let's go ahead and light it and see if we can, how much it'll take. Come on, berry slushies. Bam! So obviously we need to keep refilling the water. But once you have it set up to an industrial cooker where the water goes straight to it, it doesn't matter. But for now, we got ourselves a berry slushy and some meat pie. That just sounds like a great little picnic. And we got more crafting, so we can go ahead and keep doing that as much as we want. Um, so that's kind of your basic explanation why there is a chart on the wiki that shows you what kind of stats each thing gives you and lets you put things in the calculator and whatnot to kind of see how it all works. Um, but just for basic ways of how to do it, that's the way to go. And uh, I personally find it fantastic and just way better. Um, I know someone else did ask me once, why do I have cake in my inventory? And they were very confused. And now you know why and how, and that's how it works. Um, so that was just a quick little video to kind of explain how that all works. But for today, guys, I do think that is gonna be it. If you guys did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share if you have not done so already. You can also check me out on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, or even your Google+, Plus, even though I know no one ever uses it. And check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiahX. Like I said, for today, guys, that is going to be it. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.